Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with brand new release 2023 Tops Series 2 Baseball 6 Box Jumbo Pick Your Team Number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com A wax party invite being given away at the very, very end of this break. There'll be a recap at the end of this break as well. Big thanks everybody for making this happen. Daniel ending up with Last Spot Mojo with the Brew Crew. Appreciate Daniel, appreciate everybody getting into this. Settle in, folks. It's, it's uh, about an hour long break. We got more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And Jason Jaspie live right now on Instagram Live at Jaspie's Breaks. I'm sure he has personal boxes of Series 2 as well. Among other fun stuff. This break is going to be about an hour, so if you're not interested in watching this break, maybe you can pop over to, uh, to Instagram Live at Jaspie's Breaks, and then you can check out what Jason has going on over there. All right, good luck. Does anyone know if Dansby has Cubs autos in this? I don't know. I think I dropped the link to cardboardconnection.com. Calerpin Jr. All card chip, of course, here. The silver packs I'm going to put, you can see on the top camera, I'm on top of that box. My Dodgers still tied 6 6, bottom of the eighth. So we're looking for one autograph, two relic cards in every jumbo box. What else is going on around the league? A couple games postponed due to the smoke, actual smoke. Um, Tigers, Phillies canceled and uh, postponed. Not the game is not canceled. It's going to be tomorrow. They pushed it tomorrow, and White Sox, Yankees pushed it tomorrow as well because of the Canadian wildfires. All that I'm sure everyone's seen the pictures on social media. Looks looks like apocalyptic scenes on the East Coast. Yeah, Scott saying not great in that New York, New Jersey area. All right, hey, thanks, Evan. See you tomorrow. Yeah, Daniel's, oh, Daniel Smith also saying, yeah, we're not used to this in New York. Yeah, I was going to say in California, Southern California especially, or I guess a lot of parts of California, we experience a lot of wildfires just historically. And, yeah, we, we've seen those scenes. And it's not fun. Little particles of ash get all over, your, uh, all over the place in the car. Stay indoors, guys. Or if you have any, uh, actually, if you have any face masks left over from the pandemic, probably pop those on. All right, so once again, all card ship. There are a handful of Series 2 rookies that we are that we are kind of highlighting. Francisco Alvarez is one of those guys. Jordan Walker, uh, Masataka Yoshida, Anthony Volpe, James Altman, and Corbin Carroll. So we're gonna sleeve those up early. There you go. Camera can focus on that. We'll sleeve those up early and then our sorting and shipping team will take care of the top loading part of that. We've got uh, significant statistics to 299. That is Dylan Cease. The run value on a slider, minus 36. Obviously, these will go to the teams that they're currently on. I got Austin Hayes. Gold and that's Simeon Woods Richardson. And there's Bryce Harper right there. Autograph, rookie auto for the Twins. That's going to be for Eric Houston, Minnesota Twins. Houston with Minnesota.
Ooh, nice. How is he? Uh, I feel like I haven't really kept track of him. How is he? Uh, how's he doing? I feel like I feel like he had kind of a slowish start when they called him up. Is he still playing regularly? But I feel like he's doing better. Like he's heating up. All right. So all those Francisco Alvarez's are going to go to Scott and the Mets. And Daniel Smith will get all these Yankees and Volpes. Hopefully you find some numbered Volpes. Maybe an auto autograph would be nice too. Only one auto a box. We already got popped it, but maybe we can find another one in a future box. There's Will Benson. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Home run leaders. We got some aces here. Yeah, Yoshida's been heating up, right? You have Francisco Alvarez heating up. Eight home runs in 40 ish games so far. Batting average improving for Francisco Alvarez. Nice. I think he's I think he's the real deal. I think he is the real deal holy field. Yoshida batting 319 over a couple hundred at bats, that's pretty good too. James Alman had a really nice start to the season, but he's gotta heat back up a little bit. He'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Your nose was burning when you bought, walked back into the house? Yeah, I have experienced that. It's just all the little ash, particles and smoke that kind of gets into your nose. You know, it's kind of like being standing next to, uh, or if you yourself was a smoker or standing next to a smoker, it's kind of like, kind of like that. Your nose gets irritated a little bit. Now there's a chance, especially since these cards are right side up and then all of a sudden upside down. There's a chance that I might miss some of the key rookies that we were talking about, but all cards ship, so just keep that in mind. And I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably not going to miss numbered cards, but Josh Young, rookie to 2023 for Texas. That's going to be for Tristan. Got relics in here. We've got Nolan Gorman, rookie relic for the Cardinals. That's going to be for EA and the Cards. Yeah, hang in there, East Coasters. As a Californian, we know what that's like. It sucks. Your cousin California said Ash would sometimes fly in his window. Yeah, I was just telling a story earlier, Gilo, that, you know, like either here at work or at home, you know, during like wildfire season, while wildfires happening around the LA area, that you see like a fine coat of ash on on your car or on other people's cars and then in the neighborhood, you know. And we've got a uh, Silver Slugger card, Alejandro Kirk, 4 out of 10. Nice low number there. That's going to be for Martin and Toronto. Do we know why wildfires are having more often? Rex is asking. If Rex is asking, yes. Aliens. Didn't we discuss this yesterday?
aliens and lightning strikes, aliens causing lightning strikes. There's Luis Ringifo, and we've got we got Egai Rosario, 148 out of 499. Green for the Padres, that'll be for Steven. Oh, because Smokey the Bear stopped advertising ways of preventing them. That's false. I've, I've seen many commercials. Not many. But uh, I've seen some commercials. They haven't stopped advertising, at least not around here. Jordan Walker, all those Jordan Walkers will go to EA and the Cardinals. And here is Yoshida. All these Yoshidas will go to Walter. Here's a Drew Waters. Oh, I thought there was going to be an autograph for a second. But there's Drew Waters, 39 out of 50. Rookie for the Royals. That's going to be for Daniel Smith. We did see an auto in these silver packs in the last case. I don't know. If that, I don't think that's guaranteed or anything like that. But it exists. You haven't seen them the way you did when you were younger. Yeah, well, yeah. You probably don't watch TV the way you used to when you were younger. That took the words right out of my mouth. There's record breakers, Mike Trout. Right, do you have a lot of wildfires in your area, Rex? Might depend. Might might be regional too. If you're in a region with a lot of wildfire issues and they probably ramp up the commercials around those neck those areas they gotta spread that advertising budget around target it to more relevant markets maybe they're just getting be better at that we've got some games in progress ladies and gentlemen or we've got some finals let's go off the close of the final scores Blue Jays beat the Astros 3-2. Brandon Bell had a solo dinger today. Rays beat the Twins 2-1. Randy Arzareno walking it off for the Rays with an oppo home run. Jesus Sanchez hit a three-run homer, 445 feet. Marlins beat the Royals 6-1. Padres put a 10 spot on the Mariners. They beat Seattle 10-3. Juan Soto, perfect at the plate. His first career five-hit game. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Rex. They were just like, wait, why are we, why are we spending our our advertising money in in, in freaking Indiana? Not too many wildfires there. We got a we got a budget elsewhere. California, in Colorado, I think we had some wildfires. Pacific Northwest, maybe Canada. A's beat the Pirates. A's beating the Pirates. Ryan Noda cranking a a homer for the Pirates. And then we got a other bunch of other games in progress, which we'll go over in the next next box. Dodgers Red still tied at. Uh, Tied at six, bottom of the ninth. Ellie Dela Cruz hit a monster home run off of uh, off of Noah Syndergaard, a four hundred and what fifty eight foot blast. There's Jordan Diaz for the A's. That'll be for Eric. Eric M. There's Jock Peterson, red. 174 out of 199. That'll go to the Giants. That'll be for Daniel. We got the nine hitter up for the Reds. Is there a chance that 
Ellie Dela Cruz can can get up to bat. Maybe maybe a walk off to add to his early career. Is this the second game of his second major league game of his life? Another Jordan Walker, another Yoshida. Bryce Johnson, rookie gold. And your autograph is Ivan Herrera. Cardinals. That's going to go to EA in St. Louis. Miguel Rojas for the Dodgers and Eloy Jimenez to 2023 for the White Sox. That's going to go to E8. Another walk, another Yoshida. We've seen a Walker Yoshida pattern here. I don't think we saw that in the first case. Elias Diaz, Hank Aaron. You're live now, Eric Houston. Welcome back to The Living. Yeah, always double check every once in a while, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure you're watching the stream live. Sometimes YouTube will automatically delay you or kick you back a little bit. Francisco Alvarez. Rex is saying, just saw Starbucks is changing its ice. The coffee chain is changing its ice cubes, replacing the current cubes with smaller nugget ice. Starbucks says the new ice is made with machines that use less water. And the company has a goal of cutting its water usage in half by 2030. Hmm. I never drank coffee either until you discovered you liked iced coffee. I, I don't like iced coffee. I just drink drink black coffee. And the reds just walked it off. Wow. That's a, a Will Benson home run. Here's a Francisco Alvarez flipped around. Nice gold Francisco Alvarez, Scott. Are they live? Maybe maybe Jason took a break.
Michael Toglia and Garrett Mitchell Gold to 2023. I hear Jason's voice, but I don't know where the voice is coming from. It's coming from inside the house. It's Kyle Wright and a Yadier Molina with a little Bit of that coating peeling there a little bit, but that relic is going to go to EA and the Cardinals. Not sure if this is something that they're going to replace EA, but we'll send a wrapper along with it. Yes, we have we have a phone here dedicated just for for the Instagram stream. And we've got a home run RBI leader. Yeah, Albert Pools. We can do that, he's pretty good. Corbin Carroll's going to Dan. First of many, I hope. Well, he, might, he might be in the inventory room behind me. Really what, Eric Houston? Sorry. Here's a Jordan Walker. Rookie Silver for EA and the Cardinals. Yeah, we have our own phone for injury. We're not going to make our employees use, use their... Uh, Use their personal phones. It's like a, it's it's like a workplace making you use your own laptop or something like that at work. Be ridiculous. Mike T bought a personal box. He's looking for you. Oh, he was in the sorting room over here. That's why that's why we could hear him. He's right there. Mike, I just, uh, I found Jason. He'll take care of you. At Jaspie's Breaks, Instagram. So he won't rip that open, Mike, until, you, you, until you're in the chat and give him the okay. At Jaspie's Breaks, Instagram Live. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You can buy personals of this stuff. Series 2, brand new release, just dropped today. The company you work for wanted you to integrate the desk phones into the cloud? I don't understand that. It's the most counterintuitive thing I've ever done. This is Goldie. Desk, fo desk phones into the cloud. Like voicemails to that phone would be stored in the cloud? Is that, is that, am I? All right, well, my Dodgers have, 
fallen to the Reds. I think they've lost like three or four in a row. It's not good. Other games in progress, Mets at Braves. They're tied at fives at the end of the, going into the eighth, eighth inning, top of the eighth. Top of the eighth, Brewers shutting out the Orioles, 10 nothing. I don't know who made the start today, but they're, they two hit, they're two hitting the Orioles right now. Top of the seventh, in Texas, scoreless. Cardinals and Rangers at zeros. Top of the fifth, Rockies up on the Giants, 3 nothing, And I think Cubs Angels just started. Also, I guess I don't need to watch, uh, uh-oh, Pete Alonzo left the game after being hit in the hand. I can flip back to the basketball game. Let's see what's going on over there. NBA Finals. It's halftime, Nuggets up 53-48 in Miami. I forgot to post a basketball poll today. The phones run an app to accept calls, but all the apps needed for it to work are available on a computer. Yeah. Does sound odd. Yeah, no bueno for the Orioles. Trivia time again. What team had the most runs in one in in one game? And what year? Hmm. Eric Houston saying Royals 28 runs. Daniel Smith saying he's so old that he remembers when you could call a number, listen to the scores of the game for free. That happened? There's Tony Kemp, Donnie Baseball, Blue. Uh, not numbered, but that still looks pretty cool. Go to the Yankees. Sports line. I remember having to wait for the evening newspaper to come. <laughs> to come in. To know the scores of the day game of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Now, you can just get it right on the internet, Daniel, and have some guy streaming on YouTube tell you what the scores are, give you the score updates. Crazy. Any guesses on this redemption, ladies and gentlemen, for bragging rights? Eric's close with the number, 28 runs. Does Gilo have it? I remember the Rangers had 30 runs or something a while back. 2007, 30 runs? A lot. All right, Corbin Carroll, Anthony Volpe. Joe Adele, Josh Young to 2023 for Tristan and Texas. Eric Houston guessing Byron Buxton for my sake. For James's sake, he's looking for a Julio Rodriguez. Eugenio Suarez, Bregman, Alvarez again, maybe Scott's hoping. Volpe, Yoshida. Some good guesses here. There's uh, Cody Morris, Brian De La Cruz to 499. 
This is the guy that hit the walk-off homer against my Dodgers about just a few moments ago. Chris Parent with the Reds. Come on, Dodgers. All right, there's another Jordan Walker, another Yoshida, and the Green Della Cruz going to Eric M. and the Marlins. Another Volpe for Daniel. Got a Josh Bell and a Cool Who at Merrifield to 2023. Blue Jays edition going to Martin. This year, Rex is asking, is no team's really running away with it besides the Rays, right? Nice major league material, Alec Burleson. It's on a much thicker card sog. It's the 25, that's why. 22 out of 25. And that's for the Cardinals. That's going to be for EA. Yeah, let's take a look at, now, now that we're into early June, let's take a look at the standings here. Spencer Steer having a nice season as well for the Reds. It would be for Chris. Yeah, the, the Rays are six games ahead of second place, ahead of the Orioles. Minnesota only has a two-and-a-half game lead. Yeah, the Rangers have a five-game lead. That's a, that's a decent amount at this stage of the year. Here's Albert Pujols. Another Cardinal to two ninety nine for EA. Miami... Uh, um, the Braves are only leading Miami by two-and-a-half games. Brewers are only a game ahead of the Pirates. And the Diamondbacks are two games ahead of the Dodgers. Have lost four in a row. That's their longest losing streak of the year. But even like a five or six... Game lead at this stage of the season still uh, still not a uh, not insurmountable, or it is surmountable. It's not an insurmountable lead. There's James Altman for the Dodgers. That's going to be for Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Brandon needs something other than Cardinals here. Well, let's see what that's going to be about. Congratulations to somebody. You are due to receive 
a 2023 World Baseball Classic Stars autograph parallel of of V Vince Victor Vinny Vinny Pascatino for Team Italy and of course Vinny Pascatino plays for the Royals. Man, if there was a Wembenyama in here, that'd be kind of wild. We got a Randy Arozarena for the Rays. That's uh, out of 150, 70 out of 150. Kind of hard to see against the lettering and the color there, but there it is. That goes to Tristan and Tampa Bay. All right, we are halfway through this jumbo case break. We got two box toppers. Bonus. One for the Cubs, one for the Cardinals. I don't know if I'm gonna, we're at the 37 minute mark here. I don't know if I'm gonna beat my time. I'm getting a little hungry. Maybe the lack of food has sapped my energy. Sounds of the NBA Finals on the background. With that bucket, Denver is up 57 to 48. Just just 10 minutes left in there, just, just a couple minutes into the third quarter. Um, so I didn't watch the first half. I was watching the Dodger game. Um, What's the what's the story of the first half, ladies and gentlemen? I feel like Gilo was watching the game. What's the story of the first half, Gabe? box Francisco Alvarez Victor Carantini Xander Bogarts to 300 pretty even first half there's the Xander that's gonna go to San Diego that'll be for Steven and another, uh, another Francisco Alvarez for Scott. Joe Pizzle, that's right, Series 2. Coming at you. Here's Michael Stefanik coming at you. Rookie auto for the Halos. That's going to be for Tristan and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of Orange County of California. Joe Pizzle, what do you think about uh, the latest basketball news happening for your sons? 
Picking up former Lakers coach Frank Vogel, a champion. It's Phoenix thinking, man, we got we to gotta copy what the Lakers are doing. A successful franchise. Got to gotta find some winners here. And then they're releasing Chris Paul. Oh, is that the strategy? They're going to re-sign him on, on a vet minimum? Is Chris Paul really going to do that favor for the Suns? There's J.P. Crawford to 2023. You're hoping. Interesting. That could be an interesting wrinkle. J.P. Crawford to 2023 going to James in Seattle. Here's another Francisco Alvarez. Castillo, Marcus Stroman to 75. He's having a really nice season. If he wants a chip, he will. Hmm. Yeah, I was a bit surprised at that news. I wonder, wonder if that's the play. That would be that'd be a good move, a shrewd move. Try to free up a little bit of. Uh, I think you guys are up against the cap, right? If not over it, maybe get a little cap relief there. Try to bring some players in. Got to be some ring chasers. That uh, nice James Altman silver for the Dodgers. Ryan, Ryan G. Got to be some ring chasers out there, right? Play a little defense. And then it'll all uh, and let the chips fall where they may. Frank Vogel, actually, a pretty good coach, I think. Pretty underrated. I was kind of wish the Lakers would have kept him, but. When LeBron's on the team. <laughs> I don't know if his voice was really caring in that locker room for whatever reason either. But uh, he, I like Vogel too. I think he's a pretty good coach. And I think... Uh, I think he's just going to improve that team defense overall. And that's, and that's going to be important for any team with championship aspirations. There's Garrett Mitchell to 2023. Another Jordan Walker. For the Cardinals and an Anthony Volpe for for Daniel Smith and the Yankees. And there's a Ronald Acuna Jr. relic for the Braves. Jackson with the Braves. Another one with like a little manufacturing issue there. Not sure if tops are, are going to replace a card like that, but we'll send you a, a wrapper as well. Maybe it'll be nice. William wants to see some corked bat relics. When's the last time someone corked a bat that we know of? been a minute or two, right? It's 
So Isaac Paredes and Silver Slugger Award winner Kyle Schwarber to 399 Phillies. That's going to be for Michael. I remember Sammy So. I don't remember Chris Sabo with a corked bat. Chris Sabo with the. Uh, when's the last time someone wore goggles like Chris Sabo? Grizzlebees. Hello? When's the last time you think? William says they just hide it better now, I suppose. They they always make some excuse, right? They're, and if it if they do get caught, they're like, "Oh, this was the the cork bat. It's what I use in practice when I use for practice." The bat boy brought it out, gave me the wrong bat. I didn't notice the weight difference. It's Jose Suarez to four ninety nine. But they just use a bunch of pine tar, so that gets caught instead. I see. Maybe a baseball bat strength. Maybe the integrity of its structure has improved as well. Grizzlebee seems to remember maybe a pitcher who wore some funny goggles. Wasn't there an old player that put uh, that put those super balls, those rubbery rubber bouncy balls inside his bat? Or was that just mythology? Record breakers, Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Anthony Kay, maybe, Carson Fulmer perhaps? Rex wonders if you could get away with putting wood around an aluminum bat. Would it, would it still provide the benefits of an aluminum bat if you cover it with wood? I don't know. My instinct is no, but not a not a a bat scientist. A bat engineer. Nor do I work with work with wood. Yeah, would it would it just crack the wood immediately just because there is no give? The thing with wood, right? There's 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 flex and there's a level of flex and give in the wood, if there's a stiffer material underneath it, would that immediately crack the bat, break the bat, thus exposing the aluminum to the world? We need a baseball bat engineer listening here to weigh in on this important, important topic. That's Anthony Rizzo, not Volpe. I, can, I see, I see the Yankees logo. I see Anthony, and then it's like Volpe. No, I, I think I do that with the Mets too, because they got Francisco Lindor and Francisco Alvarez. Here is just one Masataka, though, in uh, in Boston. That's going to be for Walter.
Harold Ramirez, and we have an autograph that is Reed Detmers for the Angels. That's going to go to Tristan. One sixty nine out of one ninety Sean Mania for the Giants. We got Taylor Walls to 2023 for the Rays. That'll be for Tristan. And Lurie Garcia for the White Sox Green. That'll be for EA. That's to $4.99. Trey Turner did well for Team USA. But he's not doing well for my, uh, for my fantasy baseball team. Is this, this guy going to break stolen base records? I think he's almost got 30 stolen bases already. Uh, imagine what, what do you do for a living? I'm a bat scientist. Like a like a biologist, like one who studies the the, the flying creature, the bat. He's like, no, for baseball, like in baseball. Could be a new TV show. Bat scientist. There's Josh Harrison, black parallel, fifty out of seventy-two, for the fight in Phils. Michael Gallucci in the Phillies. I would call I would call the show Dr. Bat. We'd go around the country uh, to baseball stadiums around the country and, and just diagnose people's uh, issues with their baseball bat. Freddie Freeman, Michael Ciani. Ask Batman. I don't know if I'd. You know, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'd be able to get around the trademark with that one. And Austin Nola could be like Doc. I feel like I got a hole in my bat. Can you can you check it out? There's Brendan Donovan. Arm Batman. Can't do that voice either with that show. Someone else has got that. Speaking of Batman. Is uh, is that is that movie The Flash supposed to be good? With the with the multiple Batman in there. There's Jace Peterson to 2023. Or is that just like Spider Man? Eric M with the A's. Although that Spider Man animated movie, people are saying that is legit good. Both critics and commoners alike apparently are all on board. Got Thai France. And a Michael Harris, Major League Material for the Braves. Jackson with the Bravos. Who is the best Batman? 
I'm partial to the Christian Bale Batman. And my Rex is Keaton, obviously. Well, Rex doesn't like anything that's not in the 90s, so take that with a grain of salt. There is Clayton Kershaw. A little Triple Crown commemorative logo there for Ryan G and my Dodgers. I would have liked to see... I would have actually liked to see... Ke Keaton is pretty good. I, but I would like to see Keaton in... A more grittier Batman. I think I think he could have I think he could have pulled that off. Maybe the maybe this movie The Flash shows that kind of that kind of Keaton. Keaton probably a close second for me. I'm also of the opinion, and I know this is not a, not new, or nothing groundbreaking, but I like, uh, I like Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne, but may maybe not as, as Batman, but I like Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. There's Luis Castillo, 39 out of 75. Oh, all right. Well, that's one. One thing, Rex. Heath Ledger's Joker is pretty good. All right. Aren't they making a second Joker movie with uh, Phoenix? Another record breaker. Tatis Jr. Final box coming up. Sixth and final. Good luck, everybody. They are making a second one. Right. Brandon liked Pattison as Batman, but not as Bruce Wayne. I think I could agree with you on that. I actually like that movie quite a bit. The Batman. Because they weren't trying to redo, you know, they weren't trying to do like the Dark Knight trilogy or anything like that. They made him more of a detective. Which I like the detective angle to it. Yeah, great scene. Um, just under a minute left in the third quarter. Denver's up 82-63. Adam West, the best OG. Yeah, classic. Gilo didn't didn't like it. Too much detective and not enough violence. Well, I mean, you can go watch any of the other Batman if you want that. Are they making another The Batman with uh, with Edward Cullen? And here's the 299, Taryn Vavra. For the O's, that's going to be Aaron. Nice little color match there, the orange. For the O's.
Got a Torkelson. And we got an autograph. That's Dermis Garcia. Rookie auto for the Oakland A's. Eric M. with the A's. Our final autograph. Could be an autograph in the silver packs, though. We're looking for two more relics. Maybe some low-numbered cards of some of the top-tier guys. That would be nice. I don't think we've seen anything under lower than, like, 25. Casianos. Corbin Carroll. For Dan and the Diamondbacks. But no one, this has a blue background. They're usually purple background. I don't know if that indicates a level of short printedness, but let's leave that up for the Strohs. That'll be for Mark. Another Volpe. Another Jordan Walker. Got Bobby Dalbeck, Yoshida. Teammates. <laughs> if you get the ace, you hit you hit twenty one. To find a ten in here somewhere. Kevin Biggio. Yeah, they're usually, usually purple. Shintaro Fujinami for the A's. Interesting. I looked it up. They said Lady Gaga is playing Harley Quinn in Joker 2. Interesting. There's Lurie Garcia, and we got some green, Nick Allen, to four ninety nine. dollars little color match there for Eric M. and the A's. And we got a Pete Alonzo relic for uh, Scott and his Mets. And De Niro's going to be in it? Maybe, uh, maybe flashback sequences. Got a Chris Taylor, and we've got an Alejandro Kirk. Silver Slugger Relic. 169 out of 299. 
That'll be for Martin and Toronto. Last little stack here. Another Francisco Alvarez, Ramon Urias, Melendez. And silver packs. Possible numbered cards, possible autographs and silver packs. Nice looking cards though, sharp, pretty sharp. All right, Dunzos, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everyone for hanging with me throughout this break. I appreciate it. Let's give away a wax party invite and then we'll do a, uh, a hit recap there. So let's flip back to the page, the product page. There it is, wax party, one spot. Everyone's got a chance from Dan to Daniel and everyone in between. New dice, new list. Top name after five and a two. A lucky seven for someone. Good luck. Fingers crossed. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. So there's going to be a lot of sad faces here. Only the top name can get in. The saddest face is going to be spot two. Daniel, thanks for giving it a go. Appreciate it but there can be only one. And that's gonna be Daniel. Wow, so nothing to, I wasn't worried at all. Nothing to worry about, Daniel. Congrats to you. Uh, you got an invite to the wax party. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Great, we got the whole list of prizes on there. A lot of great stuff. For the rest of you, have plenty of wax party opportunities on jazbeescasebreaks.com, so check it out. And here is a little recap here, that Kershaw, not numbered. But some solid stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate everybody making it happen. We got more of the Series 2, a brand new release in the store now. So get after it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.